Hi everyone and welcome to my latest video. In this video I'm going to show you all about the new topics tags inside Facebook groups. So they may not be new to you but if they are and you suddenly realize that inside Facebook groups you see a topic with a little tag next to it then that's what's known as a topic tag inside a Facebook group. So how do you get those topic tags to show up in your groups and how do you use them if you are a member of a group? So stay tuned to find out what the topic tags are in your Facebook group right here on my YouTube channel. So my name is Anita Wong and I'm a digital strategist who specializes in helping you work out how to use your Facebook and your Instagram more effectively in your marketing campaigns. So today we're going to look at Facebook groups and we're going to look at the new topic tags that you're seeing popping up in your group as you start to use the group's posts and also because more admins are becoming aware of these topic tags and they are really easy to help you sort out your content if you are a group admin but also if you are a group user how to find a subject inside a group. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you do subscribe, turn the bell on so that when I have a new video, you'll be the first to know. And let's jump straight in and I'll show you how to find out, number one, how to put the topic tags into your Facebook group, and number two, as a user, how to use them to search inside a Facebook group. Okay, so here I am inside my Instagram Stories Business Growth Lab. And as you can see, down here on the right hand side, just here, it says popular topics in posts. So these are the topics tags that can be seen inside your Facebook group. So these tags highlight, number one, how many posts are associated with that topic, and number two, an easy way for you to find the topic that you're searching for. So if I were to click this one, which says YouTube videos, it will bring up the two posts that are associated with YouTube videos inside this group. So here we have one here, and then we have one underneath. Now, as you can see on the actual post, there is also the topic tag showing. And when you click on that, it will also bring the post associated with that tag to the forefront for you to see. So if we go back to the discussion tab, you can see that underneath, next to, next to the date and the topic, you see the Instagram stories. It's like a little tag. We go down, let's get off the lives and go down to a normal post. You see next to the time, you have this tag. So any of the posts that are inside Facebook groups that have got this topic tag switched on, you'll be able to sort and search using the tags here on the right hand side up here in the popular topics in posts. Now if you don't see these tags active in your group that you're a member of or if you're an admin and you would like these tags to be switched on you do have to go into the admin area of the group and I'm going to show you how to do that right now. Okay, so here we are inside the digital lab. This is one of my paid for groups and I haven't actually activated the topics tags in here because I'm using units, but the topics tags can be used with units or without. So to find out how to switch these on, you need to go to this more button here. When you click the more button, it says edit group settings. So this is where you've got to go to switch on your topics tags. So we go down to the near the bottom, we just keep going down, and as you see here, it has the post topics. So I'm going to click that on. So even if it's on and you're not using them in the front end, you won't see them. So we're gonna switch it on, go down and click save. Then what you need to do as admin of a group is to go back into the discussion tab. So we go back up here to discussion, and then you need to start creating your topics. So over here on the right, it says categorize posts, create a topic. Add topics to posts to help group members find the information that they're interested in. So I'm going to click create topics and I'm going to give one of the topics inside my digital lab, 
we're going to say Facebook. We're going to do Facebook business page and we're going to click save. Then we're going to add another one. So if you want to add more, you click manage and it will open up another window for you to then add into your topic. So let's do Instagram account, save. And then we're going to do Instagram stories, save. And then we're going to do Instagram TV. So we'll do IGTV. And you just keep doing this until you've got as many tags as you wish. Then we go back to the discussion tab and we start labeling our posts with the appropriate topics. So if you find a post that doesn't fit the topics that you've already created, then you'll just be able to create a topic there and then. So here we've got, if any of you are using Lumen 5, so that's a video post. So there's no topic here on the right that says video. So what I do is I click this upside down triangle and I click here, it says add post topic. So I click add post topic. It's going to offer me those that are available that I've already created here underneath, or you can create one yourself. So I'm going to do video marketing. Once I'm happy with that, you click create and then you click save. Now what's happened is that my post here has got a tag video marketing. Now Carol isn't an admin of the group, she's a member of the group and she's been able to put the post in. But even if it's a post that's not been done by the admin, you can still put an associated topic tag with the post. So you just go through and then you can add on all of them. So here we've got, we're going live tonight on my Facebook page and on YouTube at the same time and we're talking about Instagram stories. So that one we can give a topic to, which is already in our list. So we already know that Instagram stories are on our list. So as you can see, we go down to Instagram stories and then we click save. Now, if you are a user of a group and you want to search a topic that you might be interested in inside the group, all you have to do is come over to the popular topics in post and then you just click on one of the ones that you want to search and what it does is it pulls all of the posts that are associated with that topic into a line for you to go through. So it's a really good way of you sorting out your posts. So that's just a quick brief overview of the new topic tags inside a Facebook group. You can use them in two ways. As an admin, you can use them to create topics and group your posts together into that topic so that it's easier for your users to find that topic when they search for it using the tags. And it's also easier for you to check what topics you've already um, covered and what topics that you could possibly cover in your group in the future. As a user, the topic tags inside the Facebook group are really useful when you are searching for a post that you may know exists, but you're not sure about the topic. So you can go along the topic tags on the right hand side and look at all the different topics that are available inside the group. So don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Give me the thumbs up if you like the content. If you have any questions about what you've just learned, please pop them in the comments because I'm always free to answer the questions. If you think this video is useful for other people, then please don't hesitate to share this video with your fans and with your followers and maybe even into your own Facebook group. Don't forget that if you do add it into your own Facebook group, add the topic Facebook groups help. My name's Anita Wong and I would love for you to subscribe to my channel and I will see you when I release my next video.